Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Rachel and I like to help people find a sense of calm. I will be sharing tips and tools for mental health and well-being and voice techniques for meditation and healing. Thank you very much for joining me. While you're here with me, try and just be here now for this. This is only going to be about 10 minutes, this video. So just try and be here now with me. Try and set aside your concerns of the day or maybe of yesterday or your shopping list, you know, whatever's on your mind. Try just for these kind of 10 minutes or so, just try and be here now. And a, a, a very easy way to help that process is by actively listening. So you can be listening both to the sound of my voice and to the nature sounds around me. And in doing so, that will help bring you into the present and into the here and the now. So, in times gone by, people used the voice to celebrate, to commiserate. The people made sounds together, you know, freely and easily, without worrying about whether they were singing in tune or, you know, singing the exact correct notes. You know, unfortunately, what's happened as in the modern day is that many people feel like because they can't read music or because they've been told at some point they can't sing in tune that they can't participate in music and it's such a loss because our voice is actually meant to be a means to express emotions you know they're meant to be a release you know in, in pouring emotion into our sound into our voice we can literally you feel a sense of relief and release. Whereas the type of singing that you know, is done in the modern day with you know, notated music and having to be very precise, you know, that, that doesn't have the same effect you know, until you know the music very, very, very well and you're doing it just instinctively. You know, all it does is take you into your head and worry, am I doing it right? You know, am I singing the right note at the right time? You know, and all of that just gets in the way. So I'm coming right back to basics here and just you know, trying to find your sound. You're trying to um, encourage you to just allow your voice to be heard by you. You know, when we get in touch with our voice, we tune into who we really are, into our essence. You know, and when we listen to our voice, we start to hear our own inner voice. And the more we listen to that inner voice, the more it grows stronger. You know, from a very early age, many of us are taught that everybody else's opinion and what everybody else thinks is more important. But actually, it all starts with how we feel about ourselves. We are the center. So in tuning into ourselves and becoming more comfortable with using our voice, we become more authentically who we really are. So just try and relax into this process. We've been working our way through the um, vowel sounds. Today we're going to make the vowel sound O, oh, as in the word hot, O. Oh. It would be written O-H, I guess. Um, I'll demonstrate the sound. It goes like this. Remember a few things that to, to bear in mind when you're making the sound. Now try and drive the sound from deep down in your belly. No tension here in the throat, the neck. You know, if you do feel tension there, stop and just gently start again when you feel ready. Make sure your posture is good, your spine is erect, you know, your body is supported. Again, use the core muscles, but try and relax the rest of the body around that erect spine. Try and release your know, tension in the jaw, in the brow, in the face. And then the tongue, and yes, just try and relax. So try and make the sound to the very end of the out breath. You'll be surprised there's often a little bit more breath there than you think. So keep going right to the very end of the breath. Um, and to make it, uh, you know, what can be really helpful is to imagine this column of sound behind you, you know, like a tube of sound already there. You can either be behind you or just inside you. You know, we're 3D, aren't we? So all of our body can engage in making this sound. 
So if you imagine that the, the column of sound is there and you're just going to open your mouth and bring the sound through. Try and um, allow the sound to come from your listening rather than imposing what pitch you want to make. Um, and you know, don't try and, you know, it's nothing to do with making the exact, exact excuse me, same sound as me. It's your sound. So you may be higher than me, lower than me, slightly different. It doesn't matter. It's your sound. So just try and relax into it. I'm going to make the sound three times. You may find that you can make the sound longer than three times in the same amount of time. Just keep repeating it until you hear that I've stopped. Um, try and make it so that you can hear both your sound and my sound at the same time and actively listen to both. Because again, when you're doing that, you cannot be thinking. So you're creating a gap in your thoughts. And the more times you can create a gap in your thoughts, the more, you know, the more that begins to spill out into the rest of your day. Because your awareness you know, lifts, you become more aware of whether you're stuck in your head. So there we are. Um, let's make some sounds together. The sound is aw. We're going to make the sound three times. So when you finish making the sounds, try and just become aware of the quality of your inner space and just try and sit in that space for a little while. Something that can be very helpful in um, increasing the, you know, your ability to actively listen is to close your eyes. You know, I'm, I'm not closing my eyes, but very often when I practice um, these type of sounds, I do close my eyes because it can make it easier to tune in to actively listening. So if you feel comfortable with that, you know, just close the eyes. You, you may find your ears, you know, it's easier to focus on the listening. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, if you have, please like and share it and, and, and hit subscribe because I'm trying to build a community of people making these type of sounds together. Because eventually when we have a, a, a bit of a community, I want us to come together making the sounds all together. Because if we can create a, a, a shared intention and then make the sounds all together, that is a very, very powerful meditation. You know, the power of people chanting together, making sounds like this, is what, exponential so essentially if we can get a hundred people making these sounds together that creates the power of 10,000 and if we could eventually get to a thousand people that creates um, a million the power of a million people you know it's incredible so um, I hope I've got that right I'm gonna check that second one I may have got wrong if I have apologies I will double check my maths isn't great um, but it, you know it's hugely powerful um, it's much more powerful than the sum of just two people sitting together or three people sitting together 
and that could you know help all of us so that's what I'm aiming for um, so if you're enjoying making these sounds please hit subscribe like and share um, I will be coming back very soon with other vowel sounds and eventually we'll do a session where we're working through all the vowel sounds together one vowel sound after another It'll be a slightly longer video okay um, so whatever you're doing in your day I hope you can take something of the sense of calm that we found here together into your day or into your evening and that you try and um, at various points during your day try and just come back to the here and the now and become aware of what's going on in your head you know am I here now or am I somewhere else completely you know you might be sitting at your kitchen table but in your head you're five years ago worrying about something or in six months time what if this happens or you know it's so easy to do I certainly do it you know but creating these gaps can help and just bringing a sense of awareness so I will be back very soon please like and share and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and you think other people may benefit from it I really really appreciate you being here with me thank you very much and I will be back very soon Bye-bye for now.